maybe on your thighs or you just want to let your hands and arms rest on the side of your legs. Maybe you like to bring one hand holding the other one on top of the other with the thumbs touching and just letting your hands rest in your lap. find a soft gaze here at least. No rules to this class, just simply follow your breath, follow my voice. And meditation is really just simply finding a quiet moment and a moment with yourself and understanding a little bit more about who you are, being yourself. Just simply notice your natural breathing patterns and really no need to manipulate your breath here. So let your belly roll out. Notice if you've been tucking your belly in, your navel in. And simply breathe and really start shifting your focus towards your breath. And it sounds so simple and it is so difficult because the mind is programmed and made to problem solve and jump from tree to tree or like a puppy on the leash, you know, pull left and right. Well, the meditator is not necessarily throughout the meditation in a fully enlightened situation or free of thoughts or anything. You know, the goal is to keep pulling yourself back into the present moment. So whenever you notice that your mind wanders into thoughts, fantasies, or dreams, you simply take a full inhale and pull yourself back into the present moment. And today I'd love to introduce you to tapping technique. Right? And just simply here, you know, just listening to my voice, keep following your natural breath in and out. And you can even tell yourself as you inhale, I'm inhale, I'm breathing in and exhale, I'm breathing out. Before we dive into the tapping technique for today, Let's lock our mood here for a second. Ask yourself, how am I doing today? How am I doing today? Be as specific as possible. about how you feel. Anxious, balanced, worried, sad. Excited or hopeful. And once you lock your mood here mentally and made a mental note, Ask yourself, what do I need today in order to be present with myself? Once you lock that, 
Let's dive into our tapping practice for today. So tapping is really an emotional freedom technique and it helps a lot with anxiety and worries. And it's, it's a, treat, a treatment for physical and emotional distress, right? I, I almost uh, think we all have been through that throughout the last couple of months. It's been a lot. And let me introduce you to that technique today. So what we do is we tap on certain meridian points, and that's a practice that comes from the Asian Chinese uh, medicine. So basically by tapping, you can open up your eyes for a moment, by tapping certain meridian points, we begin here on the outside of our left hand, if you like so. With our middle, maybe with your middle and your index finger, and feel free to begin to do that and see how it feels to you and figure out the pressure and the rhythm that feels good to you. What it does is it taps on certain meridian points that are also used in um, acupuncture that bring our energy back into flow. And so often we, through stress and trauma, we accumulate tension in certain body points, chakras, energy points that prevent the energy to flow without blockage, which may cause physical distress, emotional distress, right? It's those days when you wake up and you're just feeling a really strong emotion. And so often we're like, I don't, I don't really know. Why am I feeling so sad? Why I feel so anxious today? So you can close your eyes here and soften your gaze and while you keep tapping with your right fingers on your left outer, the outer side of your left hand, find your rhythm. And while you do that, see if you can identify, let's say, an issue or problem something, a fear that's been very present for you recently. It can be literally anything. And then from there, form your mantra as you keep tapping the meridian. I begin to switch from tapping the left hand which and begin to tap your right outer, your right, right outer side of your right hand. Find your rhythm. Focus on the tapping, focus on your breath. What is a fear or problem that causes you emotional or physical distress recently? And Turn it into a mantra. It can't be anything like. I fear to not be good enough. But accept myself fully for who I am. Breathing in and breathing out while you keep tapping. And your face relax, your belly relax. Repeating your mantra on your mind. And if nothing comes to your mind, don't force it. Just simply stay with your breath, telling yourself, breathing in. I'm breathing in, breathing out. I'm breathing out. Also, importantly, keep pulling yourself back if you notice your mind drifting into thoughts. Relax 
your job, a place where we hold so much tension, so much stress. Relax your ears, your lips, your eyelids. Keep tapping. As you tap, think about on a scale from one to 10, if one is good and really good and 10 is the worst. How do you feel right now? How do you feel right now about that issue, that problem? So moving here from the hands to the temples, with both maybe your index finger, your middle finger, or any other fingers that work for you, tap the temples, the sides of, the sides of your eyes. Find your rhythm, find your pressure. Keep your eyes closed. Find a soft gaze to remove distraction. Repeating your mantra in your mind. Tapping your meridians here. Applying pressure. Getting the energy flowing again and relieving, releasing a knot that might be there. Creating your distress. Notice with every moment how you begin to relax more and more and how you become one with your breath, with the rhythm, with the tapping, with your mantra. through your nose, breathing out through your mouth. Anytime you need to take a break, take a break. And then from the temples, let's go right underneath our eyes. Find your rhythm here, find the right pressure here. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I'm breathing out. Relax your belly, relax your legs. Your shoulders are sinking heavily into your torso. Relax your back and notice with every exhale and every tapping movement how you sink a little deeper into your seat. Become one with the tapping. Become one with your breath. Become one with your mantra. Begin to notice how you release stress and tension. Visualize it. Visualize how you've been holding on to something so tight. To that fear, that worry. How you begin to let go as you keep tapping on it. 
as you give it the attention that it needed. From under the eyes, let's go to the cheeks. Tapping there. Breathing in, I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I'm breathing out. My cheeks. Let's go to over the eyebrows. If you need to rest your arms for a moment, feel free to take a break for a moment and come back. Keep tapping the air above your eyebrows. You can slow down, you can pick up the pace. You know, make this your individual practice. Your personal practice. Tapping on your mantra. Keep coming back to your mantra. Notice if your mind is drifting. And don't get frustrated if it does. Practice some acceptance and humility here and keep coming back to your in breath. Come above the eyebrows. Let's go right underneath the collarbones. Breathe in, expand your heart, keep tapping, breathe out. And relax a little, melt a little further into your seat. saying your mantra. I fear to not be good enough. I accept myself fully for who I am. For whatever it might be for you. And then last area before we close our practice here for today, from here, underneath your upper arm, lift your left arm and tap with your right fingers underneath your left upper arm. A few seconds here. Only a few seconds left of our practice. So cherish the moment, cherish the last few moments. Enjoy it. Feel into it, notice what you feel. Notice the thoughts that come up. Switching aside. Breathing in so deeply and full breath out. Switching final, final tapping point, meridian point with your left or right fingers on the crown of your head, the midpoint, right on top of your head. seconds here.
And then slow down the tapping, slower, slower, until you come to stop. Bring your right hand onto your heart and your left hand on your belly and just take a full breath in here with me. And a full breath out. Full breath in. Expand your heart and the fullest breath out. Let go of any toxicity. Keep your eyes closed. Notice how you feel. Scale from one to 10. How do you feel now about this issue, this problem, fear? If one is really, really good and 10 is the worst. And notice how something may have changed throughout the last 20 minutes. can slowly begin to wiggle your hands and your feet and on your own time and pace begin to open up your eyes again Ooh, that was a journey <laughs> it was a journey i hope you liked it and i'm curious to hear how you guys felt on the scale before and after you can feel free to you know share it here in the chat or feel free to dm me or even share it in our yoga club channel really curious how you like this practice and if you like it we can do it more often um but other than that i wish you a wonderful tuesday and um, maybe i see you tomorrow for yoga and hopefully i see you next week again for another meditation um yeah Bye, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.